some good information I basically just want to share with everybody. Um, and this is primarily going to appeal to most free-to-play players. I'm personally not free-to-play. I've put a little bit of money into the game, as you can see. But the reason why I want to go over these things is because I still play as if I'm a free-to-play player. Like, I have that mindset, right? So everything I do in the game, it's all about efficiency. So what I want to go over here with you guys, I want to go over some things on, and ways to be efficient uh, as much as possible and to get the most out of your account. And this is by far going to be the best uh, best suited for uh, for free-to-play free -to -play players. Um, so, so first thing I want to go over with is on the daily quests this is just a simple thing but i think everybody should make sure they know this because i mean one of my friends who's a free to play he didn't know about this for months even though there had been posts about it and stuff like that whenever the daily quest appears and there's an option for um for weapon parts you want to make sure you select the way you could actually change the weapon parts here you don't have to leave them what they are if you go in here and hit reward set you can come in and change the parts that you want to get. So for instance, I'm focusing on parts that like I'm cl I'm using a lot and ones that I'm, I'm you know, with, I would say usually I focus on ones I use a lot and then I'm like have over a hundred of those parts already, uh, you know, and, I, and I'm close to getting an overboost. So you definitely want to focus on that. Um, don't forget to do this. You always want to set this and that way you're not missing out because otherwise you're going to leave it at what the base is in and, and some, I don't remember what they are to be honest at this point, but it's, it's not going to be probably the maximum and, and not optimal for what you guys want to do so uh yeah it's just this little button right here it says reward set all you gotta do is click that and then you can come in here and just like when you're doing a draw and you know you get to get the wish list it's the same exact thing it's literally just a wish list so you can come in here pick what you want for what character grab what you need and that way you get a, you get a few parts yeah I, I do agree i think it should be like an everyday thing or maybe give more parts or something but uh but you want to make sure you're at least maximizing the usage of that. Uh, the next thing I want to I want to go over here, um, and and I even fell victim to this a little bit early on in the game, um, is is the premium quests and how you should what you should be getting with the premium quests. The only time you should ever be doing these premium level uncaps uh, for the uh, which is it's a weird name. Why would they call it level? Un it's just uncap. It's just kind of funny. Um, is the nano cube and genome pods the only time you should ever be doing these is to get the single clear for the crystals and that's it do not do it ever again um the reason for that is because you can farm these right you can you can come into here you can go into uh into the weapon quests up here and you can you can get them right here right like th even though yes these aren't guaranteed the fact that you can farm these means that that you can get them whenever you want. You can spend stamina to get it. Plus, you also get those materials from like events and things like that. Sometimes even like the Sephiroth event going right now, you can actually like get them over and over and over. And I, I'm actually going to show you a video on that later if you uh, if you guys check on that. It's it's what I recommend spending a ton of stamina on if you have it. Um, and, and that'll all go over that here um, in another video. But... But yeah, so for premium quests, 100%, you always want to go for the character memories. Um, I recommend focusing on the three characters that you tend to use, you know, the majority of the time. So for instance, right now for me, I focus on Sephiroth, Cloud, and Aerith. So what I do is I always pick the, the, the number two because that gives you more. It gives you a couple more, like two or three more um, on average. And, and so I'll focus on them, right? So I have 143 here for Aerith. Uh, Cloud, I'm actually going to do his today because I only have 79 because I just leveled him up, so I'm, I'm going to get more. So you want to you want to get these. These are this is the only time in the game where you can get these. So this this is what all of your premium daily quests should be going towards um, once you have all these completed for all the crystals because it's going to take you some time, especially if you're brand new to the game, to get through all these, and that's fine. But yeah, ignore ignore the nano cube and genome pods once you have them all cleared. Don't touch them. Only do the character the character memories, right? that that's what you want to focus on um and then the the next thing i want to go over is is materia synthesis this one's a little crazy uh because it is it's materia synthesis so you can see here i have a load of arrow blows lo lined up um I, luckily for me i work from home so i'm able to kind of like watch this pretty consistently to keep it going all the time but um kind of what i usually recommend for the materia synthesis to maximize your usage on it um one is you want to get the you want to get the number or the synthesis thing you know you, usually i don't expend to go to four because I, I to me 
four is not that much greater than three and as you can see i don't have a lot of day pieces right now left and i don't have any of these so i, I want to save i want to save my uh the catalyst synth catalyst piece for when i'm max so when i max out so when i get the five star i can use the four star together because i need to use nine of these with just one of these and ten of these to hit the five star uh, or to guarantee three star that's going to give me the highest chance of getting a four and five star materia so you want to maximize that so usually I recommend at minimum throw on enough to guarantee a two star here uh, otherwise uh, like for me right now I'm going to go for three star um, I'm, that's what I'm going I'm to shoot for here and and so the next little thing I, I kind of recommend on this is is make a make a what I'm going to call a materia goal um, and what I mean by that is, is set up a plan for what you're aiming to do with your materia. So, so generally speaking, what I recommend for most people is make your very first priority to get one of each, um, materia that that's available to you. Get one of each of them at a minimum of two star. Once you have that, start working towards getting a minimum of each of them at three star. Okay. Once you have at least one of each at three star you have two options from here you can either go two of each at three star this way this way you have more coverage right if you need two of them in a fight or you start going hey i want to start shooting shooting for four stars right so start picking like the materia that you're focusing on um and and and, and set a goal and this way what happens is is you just slowly get incrementally stronger over time if you stick to just one materia and you're grinding that one materia what's going to happen is is a, a point will happen come where, where you're you just don't have what you need to, to maximize what you're able to do in, in a fight and so you may miss out on it so for instance you can see all the arrow blow i'm going for um i'm going for arrow blow because i do not have a four star arrow blow right now that has a attack percentage physical attack percentage i have yet to get a single one i've made like 16 of these things you can see i am just going through arrow blows like nobody's business right like i have a four star here four star here four star here you know i i've i've probably gotten rid of a ton of them because none of them want to give me um what i need um and so that's what i'm focusing on now is i'm trying to get materia that has a matching stat percentage that goes with that materia so if it's a magic attack uh i, I want our magic materia i want it to have a magic attack up percent uh, if it's physical i want physical percent that's kind of my goal right now um, and, and the cool thing about this though is along the way you will we'll get what we'll call materia sticks or sticks or stat sticks Which are materia that you won't specifically use at all in a fight But it gives you a stat that you need like this one has a 5% magic attack in good physical defense I think I actually have this on maybe like one of my sephiroths I don't because it's not equipped but um, I have I use some of these things in different places even if I'm not going to use them You know like this one has high magic attack and I think there's a fight I use it in with Sephiroth because it gives them a really good magic attack and a, you know in a very small but you know Okay, physical uh, HP so so set up a goal for materia synthesis um, It can be a little overwhelming. I get it because it's RNG So then the other thing too I would say is is kind of plan how what material you're gonna make based on how long it's going to take to make it, right? So whenever you go to make a materia, um, <clears throat> we can speed this one up so I can show you. When you go to make a materia, it's going to tell you uh, how long it takes. So like this one averages about 50, 50 minutes for a three star. That's like the base average. So go, hey, okay, you know what? I can watch this in 50 minutes, right? I'm not doing anything for 50 minutes. So you can pop these. What I do is like, for instance, throughout the day, because I'm working on these, I put on the arrow bows. But when I go to bed, I start doing some of these longer ones, like the ones that are going to take me six, you know, 10 hours on average if it's for a three star, because I'm like, well, I'm going to be sleeping. I'm not going to check the game. I don't want to throw in material that's going to take 50, only 50, 45 minutes, go to bed and it's sitting here doing nothing. Right, so I need to maximize my time. So this is all about being efficient. So if you want to be efficient, set up when you go to sleep. Uh, if you have, if you're not, if you're gonna say do something long for the day for four, three, four, five hours, you know, set up some of the six hour, five, six hour ones, you know, and then you have the other ones that are like two and a half hours, you know. And if need be, if you want to be crazy efficient, start setting up like timers on your phone or whatever to hey reminder, bam, um, uh, material should be done because there are notifications you get on your phone um, if you guys are on mobile and not Steam. But I found them to be really inconsistent and I've even had ones that go. Oh, you're at full you're at full synthesis And that's just not the case um, Or not your synthesis is done or I'm at full stamina and that's 90% of the time. It's not true um, Yeah, so so uh, material synthesis Being efficient there. It's it's pretty big 
Um, and, and that's a super important thing I would, I would check for. Um, the other thing I want to go over here that I'm going to actually have to exit the game for is, is this is especially going to be noticeable for Steam players or something new that you may not have experienced is <clears throat> Steam players are able to get uh, not, I'm sorry, uh, phone players, mobile phone players are able to actually watch ads for two ads for 50 crystals. Um, so we're going to go in here. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, oops, that's the wrong one. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so I'm going to show you guys here. Um, you can get ads here for with crystals, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, once this pops up. Come on, there we go. Um, because you're going to get, you're going to be able to do it twice a day. Um, and it's just free crystals, right? It's, it's actually, I'm actually covered it. So I'll show you guys here. It's right behind me. So here it is right here. Um, this right here, this little thing in the bottom right corner, this will give you, give you, you can watch two ads. Um, sometimes in the last five seconds, sometimes the 30 seconds, but you get 50 crystals every ad. Um, and you get to get up to two of them. So that's hundred crystals a day that you get. So I definitely recommend, um, doing that. Because again, that's just that's crystals you'd be you'd be missing out on if you if you don't get that. Um, so that's absolutely something you wanna you wanna make sure you're doing if you're a, if you're a Steam player, get the game on your phone. That way you're you're making uh, those crystals up. Some days like I don't play on my phone at all. I'm purely on Steam. So I, I personally actually have I can show it to you. I can find my phone. I actually have a uh, a reminder on my phone every day at 6 p.m. Or here we go right here. So 6 p.m. Right there, every day. Uh, you probably can't read it, but but right here it says uh, it says Ever Crisis. <laughs> it says Ever Crisis Ad Gems. 6 p.m. every day because there's days I just forget, right? Because I'm 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 on Steam. I'm on the Steam version or something. Um, and so that's uh, that's something that uh, that I would I would recommend doing. That's just you know just it makes it easy it makes it easy to uh, easy to remember to do it um because i know there was a point when i first started playing steam and i was focusing entirely on that i think there was like three or four days i just totally blanked on it because it, i didn't see the little thing there and so you know you don't want to miss out on that um the next thing i want to go over is uh and i might do a video on this it's kind of an old trick that i think some a lot of people probably know so if you do know you know this is nothing new to you but a lot of new players i think especially from steam likely aren't even aware of this there is a trick you can do called cactuar cactuar farming um or cact farming whatever you want to call it i, I usually say cact for short at this point um and, and the way this works is and I'll, I'll try to show you guys um what do i need do i need any of these uh, i need some of these so I'll just go ahead and show you. Um, the way this works is you, what you do is you go into a fight and you go into it at times three or times four if you're paying for the pass. And what you do is is you look for a cactuar. If a cactuar does not show up, what you do is you then leave the fight. So see how we got no cactuar here? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to leave, right? So I just retire. It costs one stamina to basically go into a fight and leave. But this is the most efficient way if you need to farm these, right? So 100% recommend these. I have been doing this pretty much since day one. Um, and it saves a ton of stamina in the sense where it's like you don't have to drop three packs on this. It is a little time consuming for some of the fights because there are certain ones that have like three rounds um, where a cactuar can pop up. So basically you'd have to go all the way to the boss. If there's no cactuar by the time you get to the boss, then you, then you bounce and then you, and then you go. So what you do is when you leave you change it from being three times to to just one x right so you're only using the one cost of stamina and then you'd come in here and you'd beat the boss set up to auto here um just because this is this team will just crush them real fast um and what you do is you'd come in you beat the fight and then and then what you do is after the fight you do a retry but you set up the retry at three x the, the point of this is because you want to try to get cactuars. Cactuars are essentially an entire run that just by themselves. That's how much value they have. So this is what this does is it maximizes the, the cactuars you're getting by, by using as few stamina as possible to get a cactuar to show up and make sure they only show up when you're doing a 3x so if you get one cactuar that's equal to one run if you get two cactuar that's equal to two runs if you get three cactuar which is the rarest that's equal to three runs so if you're doing if you get say three cactuar at a 3x run that is equal to getting to doing nine runs essentially that's 180 stamina's worth so you definitely want to uh want to be do utilizing this as much as possible if you want to be crazy efficient so i'll see if i get a cactuar to show up that literally the worst possible drop i could get here of course um, the only, the only thing that stinks about it is cactuars don't give you, perfect, per, there we go, look at that, cactuar showed up here at a 3x, 
Um, and so now I'm going to get bonus bonus stuff. And you basically just repeat this over and over and over, right? And this is the best way to maximize um, what what stuff you can get out of, out of the fights. Um, it, it is a little grindy, obviously, because it does require a little bit of effort on your part. You have to be... Um, you have to be a little proactive with it, and sometimes even I mess up, especially on the fights that aren't like this one, where it doesn't start to just, there's only one enemy, doesn't start right away. Um, I, I will forget to actually leave the fight. I forget to look for a cactuar, because I'm just paying, I start paying attention to other things, right? But this is this is definitely something you want to do. Cactuar farming um, is, is the most efficient way you can do this. I recommend it to everybody, um, and it's, it's a, a very valuable tool. So see, I got terrible drops, but <clears throat> either way, uh, if we had gotten some other things in here, but again, even though the drops weren't the, weren't great, 100% that's what I recommend. Uh, these drop at a roughly 30 to 35% drop rate, so you know don't expect just because you got a cactuar you're gonna get a ton of them. I've even had it where I had a cactuar and I literally didn't get any of these. Um, but that doesn't negate the fact that that the way the cact it, it makes it worth it, right? Because the cactuar is equal to one full um, is equal to one full run. Um, as long as you get one cactuar, just one, within, uh, it's crazy, within within 59 attempts, you have actually, you've actually been more efficient than if you had just not gone for the cactuars at all. But that's just the way it works, right? That's mathematically how it works. Um, so yeah, cactuar runs, just real quick recap again real quick. Go into a fight in 3x. If you don't see a cactuar by the time you get to the boss, leave it, come back out, do a unused, right? Don't do the stamina boost, do unused. Um, just the one X as I'll call it go in complete that fight then then redo the fight as a 3x See if you get a cactuar if you don't just repeat the process until you get a cactuar and you just do it over and over and over Again, I've been doing this since day one the Most efficient way you can grind for any materials in this game. I do it for every piece of this game. I do it um, And I understand it not everybody has time to do that or you know, but but if you do have time that's what you want to focus on, especially as a free-to-play player. Uh, you need to do as much as you can and maximize it. See, like right now, even doing this, I'm like, I gotta get, I gotta get this materia done. I gotta get my synthesis going. Can't waste time, you know. <laughs> I always feel bad when I like wake up super late in the day, and uh, and like just all this time has gone by, and I know it's been sitting there. Okay, and the the uh, two more things, really short, pretty much. Chocobos. These are pretty straightforward. Um, there's not much going on with chocobos. It doesn't hurt to just come in here ever so every so often and just grab them. You're not you're not missing out on anything by making them go up to max. So this is a pretty straightforward thing. I think everyone's mostly doing this anyway. Set up your chocobos. Um, the only thing I would say about efficiency here is is you probably want to set up your chocobos to go to places where you're missing materials. The main one I would say I was focus on is like your four star uh, materials here. Once you get to uh, uh, to this point, so for instance, this was the one I've been using on the, on the arrow blows that I. I need a ton of so i focus i focus these more than anything right now because those are what i need same thing with these right so that's where i put my chocobos um if you really really want to be super efficient even more so again this is what i recommend don't use chocobo boosters at all until there is a there is a a, a bonus going on for the chocobos so sometimes there's a 20 percent, 30 percent, whatever bonus for chocobos don't don't go for any don't use any of those until they come up because that's the best time to utilize them um, and get the most out of your out of your uh, little choco boosters uh, and then last but not least um, the thing I want to go with I uh, want to just recommend I think everybody probably does this but pretty especially the last month I think it's been over a month straight almost we're coming on there has been free draws make sure you're logging in once a day for these free draws you don't want to miss it out on it just like your dailies just think of it as a daily right you don't want to miss out on these free draws um, cause, cause that, that for a free to play player, that can be detrimental, especially if you miss a couple of them. Um, so, you know, we want to make sure we, we, we are, you're doing that. Um, cause this is, this is where all your damage, this is where everything is, right? Like gear is important. <clears throat> gear is honestly the most important thing because, because of how rare gear is, but, but the weapons are really what's going to carry you through the rest of the game. It realistically, but it's, it takes time to get your weapons up. So every little bit of time that you miss out on the weapons, um, it's unfortunate. Um, that's just, that's just, you know, a little bit, you're missing out on power and strength or whatever. Um, yeah, not, not getting the streamer or YouTuber luck. Eh, hey, yeah, four, that's good four stars. Four, four stars is not bad. I can't complain. Didn't really get anything I want really, but it's all right. That's just the name of the game, right? It's just, it's just RNG luck. It's gambling essentially. Um, so yeah, 
And that's what I recommend doing there. So there's some uh, some a lot of tips I recommend for a lot of free-to-play players. So I'll just go over it real fast. Uh, make sure you, you're selecting the right weapons for your daily quests. Uh, premium quest. Once you get all the crystals for everything, just from uh, completing uh, each of the, uh, the premium quests once, only get only get the memory gems. Uh, you don't want to get anything else. Um, and then for the materia synthesis, you know, make a plan, set up a plan, pay attention to the the, the times on them. Like I said, it, it make it a, make it be as efficient as you can for those. Um, you got the cac, you got the ads for the crystals. Um, so don't forget those. You know, if you can't, if you are able to play on mobile, make sure you get those ads every day. Um, Cactuar farming, the most efficient way to farm. Uh, and then like we just went over chocobos real quick, and then the free draws that we've pretty much had for quite a long time and those come up often so whenever they come up just make sure you're always getting them once a day at minimum so anyway guys that should cover everything uh as far as being as efficient as possible as a free-to-play player um and even if you're not a free-to-play player like i said i'm not technically any longer or i haven't been for a little while um if you play with the mindset of a free-to-play player, you'll just you'll you'll be more efficient and and you'll probably have an easier time in the game and clear more content. And that's that's probably what most people want to do. And I would imagine. So anyway, uh, thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it. Keep rocking, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels. And I will see you guys on the next video.